I'm Jeremy Ray Taylor, and I play the part of Ben Hanscom, and this is it. Uh, hi, my name's Chosen Jacobs. I play the role of Mike Hanlon. Interview with Jacqueline Grazer, playing Eddie Kasbrack, and live in 3 to 1. Boom. Even as we were casting the kids, we were thinking of who to cast as the adults. They had to be great actors, of course, and they really had to look like the kids. I really put a lot of thought into this because we, we actually discussed this. It's really exciting for me, too, thinking about it. I'm expecting a lot. I have a feeling that Bill Hader is playing Richie, and then we want Jessica Chastain to play Beverly, and we haven't figured out Jeremy yet, but we will. Trust me, we will. The resemblance between the adults and the kids is striking. So give me a, like three or four beats and yeah. then stand up. For me, it's a search for someone with the sensibility and the DNA, and yes, and the physical appearance of the actors that played those characters in the first movie. When we were shooting It One, we used to talk about who would play our older selves, and it was more of like a joke, but it was just so convenient that Jessica already worked with Andy before, they were close, and she has red hair. <laughs> it's pretty much all you really need. Come on. One, two, three. No, come on, Barbara. Come on. Barbara. <laughs> I'm very good friends with Andy and Barbara, and from the beginning, Andy was sending me pictures of Soph and me together, and he goes, like, what do you think? Yeah. Chosen's awesome. He was so sweet to me. He announced that I was Mike Hanley on his Instagram, so that was super cool. I'm not on social media or anything, and so a couple friends texted me. and was like, hey, do you know Finn, the, the kid from Stranger Things, and It, he just said he wants you to play Richie in the next movie. And I was like, well, that's cool. And then my agent called me and said, hey, um, there's a young actor named Finn. He was in Stranger Things, and he's in the It movie. Well, apparently, he recommended you to be in the sequel to play an older version of him. So I had this meeting with Andy and I sit down with him and he's like, you know why you're here? You're here because Finn, okay, there's an actor named Finn. Uh, he's in Stranger Things and I know, I know, yes. <laughs> so Finn said that you should be Richie and so I'm gonna have you be Richie. And I was like, whoa, this works? Yeah, thanks, man. That was awesome. From the beginning, I was always Bill Hader. I was just like a super fan. But yeah, it's a very unconventional way of hiring someone, of saying a 14-year-old told me to hire you. The casting could not have been any better. Yeah, we look startlingly similar. Even my brother, he saw this in the theater, and he was like, my kid looks like PJ. He was weirded out by it way before I knew I was going to do this. <laughs> you would never think about meeting your older self. So it's super surreal to even think about that. And let's just say I would not mind looking like Jay Ryan whenever I'm 40. I think Andy's got a real great intuition for casting. How long have you been doing the casting process for? It's a big, it's a big cast. It's, uh, I would say like four months or something. Nice. I got pretty lucky. Yeah. For the cast. Yeah, I think you guys did an amazing job, if I do say so myself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Every single kid from chapter one wrote a letter as their character to our older selves. It's really just a touching thing to read and that I can look at and go, this is from me 27 years ago, and I remember being this boy. Well, I don't want to tell you what was in the letter because it's a bunch of secrets for Bev. Basically, I told Bill about all of the things that I hate about Derry and why I wouldn't go back. But then I talked about all the things that I loved about it and why it's worth fighting for. It was awesome. I keep it in my trailer. I keep his picture right there. Every time I come into work, I get to see that. So I can kind of like, all right, let me, let me get into this. For some reason, they included a, a picture of ourselves to give to them. And PJ's like, OK, this is weird. What do you want me to do this? Like, put this on my nightstand? I was like, yeah, put it on your nightstand. And when you wake up in the morning, look at that, and that's what you aspire to be. And this picture of me going like, <laughs> something stupid. When we get together, it really is like a hangout session on set. So I'm excited to show how we'll blend together the young losers and their older counterparts. It was like our first day of school, you know, showing up on set, meeting all the losers. And I felt like I was 12 years old again. And just like that, it's like not a day has passed. Can we just talk about the elephant not in the room? Good fucking Lord, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> I think. We all felt a sense of responsibility to really nail that dynamic that the kids had. One of the reasons that I loved the first film so much was Jaden's performance. And so to try and be the next custodian of Bill Denbra, but then to actually have a scene together, that was 
Awesome, awesome, awesome. Just because you didn't want to play on a rainy day one time doesn't make it your fault. Okay, keep rolling. Probably won't get much better than that. You should call it a night. I read the book when I was in uh, middle school, and I remember seeing the miniseries with my family. And so my thing was more watching you in the first movie and try to put a new thing on that. I couldn't play Mike the way I play him if I didn't have Chosen's foundation because that's where I got my character from. See, there's more to our story. What happened that summer? Isaiah is really bringing it to another level. He's really taking the time to even study, you know, how I portrayed the character and added his own spins to it. So to actually look at, like, my interpretation, it makes me really happy, and um, I couldn't have chosen anyone better for the role. To have such big, amazing actors want to do justice to you, that's, like, really scary to think about. But I think it's, it's super cool. When I watched the first movie, it was, like, his sweetness and his innocence that was really authentic and beautiful. And uh, he's a real sweet guy. He comes from a sweet family, so I just pretend that I'm a sweet guy, too. <laughs> I mean, everyone just works so well. Like, even in real life, Isaiah acts like Chosen. PJ acts like Jack. Everything just clicks. It's like the first summer all over again, except we're, like, <laughs> the old ones, and they're the new ones. I just follow it everywhere. It's just so fun to have that atmosphere again. I love my life, man. I consider us all like tight now because we went through these two months of just grueling 12 to 14 hour days. Everybody stayed together and we all helped each other out. Wow. I'm lighting to talk. It's a lighting wow. to talk, man. I'll look back on this fondly. We've really bonded as individuals. Losers don't rat each other out. We had a very long conversation about this. Bill specifically said losers never rat each other out. <laughs> <laughs> This movie felt like it felt like summer camp. It didn't feel like work at all. It just felt like I was just having fun with my friends and on the side, beating up clowns. It's the end of a cycle, my friend. It's the end of a period. It's the end of an adventure. It's bittersweet. It was a long and amazing journey. I made amazing friends. I learned a lot. It was a beautiful experience. I got a turtle. Oh I got a turtle. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. It's four years with these characters. Yeah, the characters are inside of us, so it's hard to see them go. Everyone had a, such a great time. It really was a family and like some sort of dream come true. And those kids are so wonderful in the first film and all of us together, the Losers Club, it was so exciting and so powerful. That's what the movie is all about. When you get together with your friends, there's nothing you can't accomplish. We're losers and we always will be.